and we're live. I don't know why it always says bad when I start up. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Bobby, for, for coming early and getting everybody excited in the chat ahead of time. We start usually around 1030, sometimes before. We do this class every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. But next week is our last class for two weeks. <clears throat> so I, ha I do have a few announcements. So let me get those out of the way first. And then we're going to have call-in questions. Okay, so let me give you the dates. Next week is the 21st of July. We will have a class. I'm not sure what the design space class will be about yet. Um, and then on the 28th, I will be in Utah or on my way to Utah. Not sure. On July 24th in the evening is when I start my road trip. And I'm going to try to live stream the entire thing. Um... It won't be one continuous video, but, you know, I'll, we'll try to do as much as possible. We're going to go on my son's channel, too, so it's be back and forth. Um, so that's the 24th, and then it's a 56-hour trip. It could be longer. It could be, I don't know. We're just going to find out. It's a new adventure for me. So I will not have a class on July 28th. I also will not have a class on Saturday, August 4th. I will be doing a sunrise video from the Grand Canyon on Saturday, August 4th. I'm thinking it's probably not going to be live because I want it to be beautiful and not pixelated. I don't know how service is at the Grand Canyon. I imagine it's not great. I don't know. So if it's not, if I don't have lots of bars, I'm just going to record it as live and then I will upload that video straight from my phone as a live video. It's not going to be edited or anything. So I'm going to do that because I need to share that with you guys. I have this need to share with you. Um, and then the Design Space classes will return on August 11th. And... That's the second Saturday of the month. So that's when I have my Patreon hangout. Today there will be a Patreon hangout and August 11th. And I also need to do my opening viewer mail. That possibly could be the same day too. Because I do have some viewer mail to open. And I usually do that on the first Saturday of the month. So that's out of the way. Oh, Edith says no service at the Grand Canyon. That's what I thought. <laughs> but we're going to try to get a great sunrise video. Hopefully that there's going to be a beautiful sunrise. I'm imagining it in my head. So it will be happening. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Today we're going to do call-ins. If you are a YouTube sponsor, you can call in and ask questions. There's a link in this description to the post with the phone number. If you're a Patreon of $5 or more, there's a link in the description to the post of where to get the phone number to call. That doesn't mean I won't answer any other questions in the chat. I try to answer as many questions and help as many people as possible. So if you do have a question in the chat, please ask in the chat in all caps. And if I don't get to your question or if somebody else has an answer, they may answer you in the chat. I have so many awesome people who like to help in the chat. It feels good to help, doesn't it? I enjoy it. So please ask in the chat if you have any questions. Don't ever leave out questions, okay? Um, what else? Oh, somebody asked about the emojis. There's special emojis on my channel for the sponsors of my YouTube sponsors that sponsor my channel. This is not a choice of mine. It's something YouTube does. It's a new feature where they have where you can sponsor somebody. They set the price. They allow the emojis. I cannot share the emojis or allow anyone else to use the emojis. I have no control over that. All I can do is upload the emojis and YouTube decides 
you know, that the sponsors can use those. And you get a badge next to your name. So you'll notice some people have a little sun and cricket next to their name. The new people have a, actually, I think I have, I can show you this. So the new people have it, the little cricket without antennas. Then if they've been a month, they get antennas. Two months, they get a body. And this feature is not two months old on my channel yet. So that's not available until it is. And YouTube also puts in these dates or the months and years that are possible. And I just upload the emoji. So that's where they get that. And I'm trying to think there's any, let me go ahead and do this because sometimes I forget and I really want to get these out there. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Marla, Juanita, Annette, Jody, Tammy, Jean, Kim, Ebony, Linda, Audrey, Stacy, Carol, Donna, Betty, Gloria, Yvette, Monica, Nina, Amanda, Carol, Vanessa, Marie, Virginia, Mouse Baby, Linda, Darla, Ashley, Mary, Emma, Wanda, Michelle, Lisa, Shanna, Cindy, Susan, Christy, Kat, Helen, Lydia, Keisha, Afia, Kelly, Adeira, Kathy, Deborah, Donna, Beth, Sonia, Bobby, Joyce, Connie, Jody, Susan, Melissa, Bonita, Jane, Richanda, Amanda, Nicole, Penny, Beth, Deandra, Melissa, and Annabelle. Thanks, guys. And thanks to all my co-sponsors. Okay, thanks, guys. Um... Also, somebody says they're thinking about changing from Patreon to YouTube sponsor. You can totally do that. YouTube sponsors also get all of my Patreon files, my design space files. Let me see. Let me go to my channel. It lists, if you click on the sponsor button, it does list um, what you get. And I added the phone number. So they get my phone number. They also get some private videos. I did two private videos to sponsors and Patreons only. Um, you get a coupon code for my store. You get the private live hangout that will be after this video today. And I subscribe back to your YouTube pay channel if you have a channel. I subscribe sometimes. I'm the only subscriber to their channel. <laughs> But it's a perk, so I'm subscribing. Oh, we forgot my special song, Sheila. Let me see if it's in here. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. That's awesome, Michael. It sounds better after you listen to Michael and Sheila sing it. Okay, let's get to design space. So here's the thing with the call-ins. When you call in, I get a little notice and I'm going to answer that. You will be live on the air as soon as I answer your call, okay? And if you call while I'm on another call, while I'm answering the question, I'm not going to answer your call. And after 20 seconds, it will hang up on you. It will give you a little message and hang up. Uh, the message is, I'm no longer live. Even though I am live, I need to add another message. Maybe please try again. Um, so you can call back again. Um, and when I'm done with one question, I'm just going to answer whatever phone is ringing. Okay, so don't think I don't, I'm ignoring you, but I want to answer the questions. So I'm going to try to answer the questions as well as I can, and then we'll get to the next caller. Please only call in with one question, only so we can get more questions in. You are allowed to call in. If you call in and I answer your one question, you are allowed to call back. It's just random draw of who's calling. So far, there's no calls. You can start calling. And there's a delay too. So there's a little delay. So if you see me um, finish a call, it might be that I've already started another one. 
And when you call, please turn down the sound on your computer or iPad for the video. If you can mute the video during the call so we're not hearing an echo. And here's Design Space. So, what was, I had something I could show you while we're waiting for phone calls. I'm reading the chat now. Um, how do you turn a photo into an SVG? There's all kinds of different ways to do that. Remember, these questions are for design space. Uh, there is not a way for the Explorer to increase the pressure on the scoring tool. Jamie shared a link. Oh, and we have a phone call. This is Joan Smith, Miss Super Klutz. Hi, how are you? Hi, Joan, you're live on the air. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> what is okay. your question? Okay, it's regarding the maker and uh -huh. using the heavy craft two millimeter Shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Marla, Juanita, Annette, Jody, Tana, Gina, Kathy, Evan. My problem was my knife blade kept sticking in the paper and it kept giving me notifications to unstick it. What was I doing wrong? Okay. Can you repeat the question again? Because I think I messed up on my... I switched back over in my... Shout outs and song. I gotta turn those off. Okay, you have a pro the knife blade says it's sticking. Yes, and I had to keep restarting it and it kept doing it. And I don't know what I was doing wrong. I did have the picture on top from the vinyl, the print and cut. Photo. Okay. Put it on and I had your video going. I did gray it got everything down so I obviously did something wrong and you're doing chipboard did... and it, w it was cutting and got stuck yes many times huh what did it look like it was cutting right yes it did and it would start and then it would stick and I'd have to push the button because the props came up what to do and it took me four tries but i finally got a completed puzzle but it was not smooth sailing so i obviously need help of what i did wrong i don't know that you did anything wrong i, I never had that happen no <laughs> um oh my i don't if it happens again I think I would call Cricket and see, you know, if they can help you or if they know what the problem is. Sometimes they can go into your machine and do things to it. Okay. So maybe it needs something like that. Okay. I will do that then. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. Oh, wait. Joan, Joan, Joan. Michael just yeah. said in the chat, he's like an IT expert. Um he says computer was your or was your computer going to sleep? No, I have okay. that shut off. I ever since I got heard about that, I have to do it manually now. It never does it on its own. Okay. So that wasn't but it the, then. The they, prompts would keep coming up saying the knife the knife blade is stuck and then it would tell you what to do and then you hit resume again. Okay. I don't know, maybe it was in a bad mood. <laughs> yeah I don't know I think if it happens again just call cricket and say it happens you know every time and you know see if they can help you with something okay I shall do that dear heart all right thank you 
Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, you guys. Next caller. Jamie says the knife blade will get stuck if you have a lot of deeper cuts in your mat. Oh, that's good to know. Maybe try a new mat. And uh, Glinda's asking, did you calibrate first? I imagine you did if it got cut out pretty good in the end. Renee thinks you're getting too many particles into the knife blade housing. So maybe you need to kind of take the blade out and blow or, you know, clean that out really good. Blessed Mama asks, what do you mean about your computer going to sleep? Um, if you don't do anything on your computer, it usually is set to go to sleep and not be active. And when you're cutting chipboard and wood, it takes a long time to cut those. And if you don't do anything else on your computer, your computer could fall asleep and it will stop your machine from cutting. And Michael suggests to recalibrate. We have another question. Hi, you're live on the air with Melody. Hi, Melody. My name's Mary. Hi, Mary. And I want to say thank you for everything you do, first of all. Uh-huh. And what is your uh, question? Pardon me? What is your question? My question is, can I use the new scoring tool and then switch back to the old tool if I want to, or can I? do I need to only use one or the other? No, you should be able to switch back. Um, okay. You can go to edit tools. Okay. Do you know? Right. Do you know where that is? Um, I'm... I. I think so. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm gonna show it on the screen just so if not everybody does. Uh, but to okay. do that, I have to actually have something on my canvas to score. All right. So I'll add well, that real I, fast. I have a, I'm traveling right now, so I don't have the scoring tool yet or okay. my machine, but when I get home, I was wondering if I could switch back and forth. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, well, I just wanna say thank you for everything. I love watching your videos. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for calling. All right, have a good day. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Okay, we can take the next question. I am showing how to edit the tools. So if you don't have a scoring wheel, it will automatically come to scoring wheel and then you can edit the tools and choose scoring stylus. Now, I have it set to this for this. I'm gonna cancel. And then I'm going to go back and see what the setting is on because I've never tested this. Okay, we're going to do cardstock. Yeah, it, so now it automatically goes back to the scoring wheel and you'll have to click edit tools to go back to the scoring stylus. Um, Melinda, I see a question says, why won't my font show in DS? Um, if it's, it has to be installed on your computer. And that's, I don't know. She says it's my rage italic. Not all, I don't know. It should show. Sometimes you have to sign in and sign out. I'm going to cancel this cut. Oh, you know what, you guys? I knew there was something else that I needed to talk about today. We have a winner to the Pink Flamingo Cricut Explore Air 2 bundle. So I had a giveaway. And so the winner of that bundle is Tammy Burrencott. 
I'm going to type this in the chat. So you can see the name. Tammy Burncott is the winner of the Pink Ex Pink Flamingo Cricket Explorer Air 2 Bundle. So congratulations, Tammy. I knew there was something else I needed to tell you guys at the beginning. Do we not have any more questions on the phone? The scoring wheel does go on the left side of the machine where the blades go. Somebody says Rage Italic is a difficult font and does not always play well with all programs. No one else wants to call in? Hi, you're live on the air with Melody. What's your name? Hi, this is Vicki Carroll. Hi, Vicki. Thank How you. Are you. Good. Thanks for calling. What's your question? Yes, I have a quick so I have the question is that I've noticed on the videos for that you and Ken and Lori that you guys have all started using the blue mat more than the green mat that you're not using the green mats anymore and i wanted to know if they if the blue mats were reformulated or if there's something um that i need to consider because i don't have very many blue mats and so i was wondering if i should invest in a couple the blue mats are my favorite i use them for almost but, everything they're i don't know i'm just from the videos that I've seen, it seems like the blue mats are being used more than the, the green ones yeah, by the, all of you guys. I, I think we just prefer those. The green ones, I think, are too sticky for paper and cardstock and uh, even vinyl I use on the, green, on the blue mat. It's just easier to take it off and it works. Right. So I think that's... So I just, what's a good thing to use the green mat for then like like poster board or? um last night i used it yeah i usually use poster board on the blue mat too but last night i used <laughs> shimmer paper i i was working late and i was too tired to take it off the mat <laughs> so here's my okay. shimmer paper that i um it's the shimmer paper is kind of this isn't shimmer paper. This is sparkle paper. The sparkle paper is glossy and almost, it doesn't really feel so much like paper. And so I thought it needed a stronger cut or stronger hold. So I did use the green mat for the sparkle paper. And gotcha. On more glossy things, I think just use something that will stick more. Gotcha. So it's, well, it's just what we prefer. I yeah. I really like the blue mats best. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I just need to get some more. Yeah. And they're on sale right now, 50% off, if I, you have excess. I know. That's, <clears throat> that's why I asked now, so that I could get them while they're on sale. Yeah. All right. Thank you for awesome. calling. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, we did have another caller, but uh, I was in the middle of a call, so call back. Yeah, it looks like in the chat, everybody is loving the blue mats. Rockstar says I need to start writing down my questions while I, she's working because she doesn't remember her questions during the video. We have another caller. Hi, you're on the air with Melody. How can I help you? Hi, Melody. It's Deborah Leva from New Mexico, land of enchantment. Hi, Deborah. Uh-huh. 
Um, I have um, the 7710 Epson. Yeah. I've calibrated it, done everything. But the colors that show on the screen when I'm in print and cut or, you know, creating something to print, they are awful when they print out. Do you have any suggestions? Do you use the best quality? Do you change the quality? I do. Okay. Yeah, I um, I have no idea what to do. And I'm, I'm a big Epson fan. I have had Epson for, gosh, 20 plus years. And they've always been good. And I bought this one because you said, oh, I like it. Because, you know, we all yeah. do everything that Melody does. We're copycats. <laughs> Um, are you using the Epson ink? Are you using, Am I using what? The, Ep the Epson ink? Yes. Yeah, I don't do anything but Epson ink. Uh, what kind of paper are you using? Um, uh, like, um, I don't know, 110 pound cardstock. Um, and, and when, when the Epson prints, when I'm just, you know, doing something like in Word or Publisher, it prints fine. The colors are fine. So I don't know if I should recalibrate it. I don't know. I no, recalibrate know doesn't. This problem. So it's only when you print from Design Space? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, only when I do it with Design Space. Huh. Everything else prints fine. So, and there are some things, you know, that are, in an access that I like to change to a print or, you know, that I create mm -hmm. in access that I want to print, but the colors just don't work out. So I'm doing a workaround. But I, I just want you to know, I think you are awesome. Well, and thank you. you. a huge help to me. I got my maker in October and I have done so much, so much birthday parties, baby showers, announcements, you name it, we've done it. Boxes. Ugh. And it's because of you, and I thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you so much for watching. I, But I don't know why it's not working for you. I haven't had a problem. But I haven't okay. really, like, so I haven't compared it. Circuit? Yeah. I'm sorry? Maybe. Okay. I don't. I don't I'll try that. Yeah, I, I'm going to think about it. And see if we can come up with an answer. If anyone who's watching has an answer, please comment and let us know if we um, if there's something we can do. Okay, awesome. All right. And, um, thank you so much. You're, you're a treasure. Well, thank you for calling and thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. I don't think turning bleed off will change the color of the of the image. I um before I print anything from Design Space, I always go in and change it to um print or best print while we're waiting for another caller let me go to design space oh not projects images have you guys seen the free this week oh wrong button let me grab one of these free this week look how cute okay i'm gonna get the call Hi, you're on the air with Melody. What is your name? Hey, this is Denise in Statesburg, Georgia. Hi, Denise. Thank you so much for calling. What is your question? Uh, the paper racks that are behind you, did you buy those or are those, did you, somebody told me you made a paper, uh, a tool rack or a paper rack or something, and I missed a part of that. I was asking, uh, I wanted to know what they're talking about. Okay, the paper racks behind me I bought from TCI Wholesale or TSI. Okay. I don't remember Wholesale. But um, thanks for bringing that up because I was going to talk about these. That's the other thing I was forgetting to talk about. I made this tool bench 
And the video is on delay a little bit, so you'll see this. I made this to hold my blades. This was the first one I made. And then yeah. this is the second one, and you can't see it, I don't think, <laughs> for just a minute, like 30 seconds. And then I made okay. this one. So, and then I made this one. This one is actually holding all of them. This is a different one I made. I added the heart. I messed up on that one side because so it was late last night. And okay. put a front on it. So this is probably, I call it a blade holder. And somebody told me this morning I should call it a blade bench. Um, I did two private videos on Patreon. So if people sponsor me on YouTube or donate a dollar or more on Patreon, they can see the videos on the bench and they also have the file. So, okay, and I wanted to ask you about that. Do you benefit more from us uh, sponsoring you on Patreon or YouTube? Do you have a preference? I don't have a preference. Patreon has more options uh, to do. Uh, if you, if, Patreon takes 5% of it, and then there's a 35 cent fee per transaction. So if you if you uh, do a dollar on Patreon, I get 65 cents. Um, if you do $5 on Patreon, um, so Patreon would take 50 cents plus 35 cents. Uh, okay, on that's YouTube, what I do. yeah. On YouTube, it's four ninety nine, and I get seventy percent. So YouTube takes thirty percent. So I get like three forty nine. I I don't care about that though. If you would prefer to get the emojis and stuff, then do YouTube or on five dollars on Patreon. You also get to be in the video on my Hangout videos. So if that's important to you, then it's the $5 on Patreon to be in the video, and you don't get that on the sponsor. So I think okay. that's really the only difference. All right, so if we, if we, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. If we were gonna do more, if we were gonna sponsor you more, it'd be better to split them between the two than it would to go up on one, because they're gonna take the same amount, right? Yeah. Some people okay. sponsor on YouTube and then just donate a dollar on Patreon too. As it's whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. Well, you know, thank it's, you and it's, it's exciting to talk to you. Have a great channel. Well, thank you very much and thanks for all your support. Thanks for calling. Okay, we can take another caller. I was gonna, while we're waiting for calls, I was gonna show this. This is free for the week. Let's cut it. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you the print. Okay, I'm gonna click send to printer. There's links in the description for the posts that have the phone number. Okay, so this automatically goes for me for to PDF, I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna put it to my Epson 77, and I'm gonna click on Advanced Options. And this is where I go, I change this, well, actually it's on medium quality. But I go there, and then I have to change this to best each time. We have another caller. It's Sheila Rogers. Should I answer it? Hi, Sheila. Hi. I just want to ask one question. Will we be able to see Jamie's uh, little holder on this one or Patreon? We have another caller. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna share Jamie's file. She took my file and changed it. Let me see if I can show you guys the one Jamie did. 
Um, Jamie, send okay, me a Jamie. That's all I wanted to know. You have okay. a good day. I'll be here. All right, Jamie, send me a picture. I'm gonna take okay. the next caller. All right. Bye bye. bye. Hi, you're live on the air with Melody. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Tina Miller. Hi, Tina. I have a question about the print function in Design Space. Okay. When you when you click something to print, will it print and then cut or just print it? It prints it on it sends it to your home printer. And then you get it from your printer and load it onto a mat, and then it will cut it. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. I was a little confused, so. Yeah, Every, everything much. that prints, it will cut. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Uh, you too, bye-bye. Bye. And I just missed a caller. Um, so please call back. No, Jamie, I want a picture of your finished one. Okay, we got another caller. Hi, you're live on the air with Melody. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Melody. Uh, this is Debbie. I'm kind of new to card making. And um, I wanted to ask you, I've been trying to make my own envelopes for cards, uh -huh. but I can't seem to get the size right when to when you detach it and do the size of the envelope. Okay. Um, can you tell I'm thinking when I'm looking up? Uh, so are you talking about when you have a card in design space and the envelope is included? No, I just, um, I, I found some envelopes just, just to make um, decorative kind of scallop edge envelopes okay. in design space, but I can't figure out how to make it the size that I need. Okay, let me show you that. Um, let me go to design space and let me finish this, I think, I think I finished this, showing people how to do the, you have to pick the right quality of paper that you're using. If it's a high glossy okay. mat or that, okay. And then you just click print on that. Okay, let me go back to the, on, to the canvas so I can show, I'm just gonna grab an envelope Like here's a scallop to one. Okay, now what I'm showing you on the air, this is a little delayed from what you see than what I see. So, um, I'm gonna change the size of this to an A2 card. Yeah, the so one in the middle, that's it. That's the one I was trying to okay. size. So I changed this card to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to use this black square, which uh, you may not see right this second. Let me zoom. Out. Oh my goodness, I knew it was going to be something so easy. Well, what I'm doing is I'm making the square and pretending the square is the card because it's the right size. Mm. So I'm just going to stretch out the envelope until it fits in that square. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and so I, I would do it just a little bit bigger than your card just a little bit so that so it fits just a little bigger so it fits yeah, in the envelope nice. 
All right. Yeah, it's real easy. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Have a uh -huh. good day. Bye bye. Okay, somebody else tried to call in and I was in the middle of a call so I didn't get it. So you, you can keep calling back. Thanks, Denise, for calling. Um... Okay, I got the picture of Jamie's holder. Let me show that to you. So this is the one Jamie did. She put this part here at the bottom and then she put clear acetate over the front of the whole piece. And then she changed the holes at the top to change. And in my video for the Patreon and sponsors, I show how you can change it and make it so it fits your tools and how you want it to fit. Yeah. Tammy, uh, you can call back. Oh, and thank you so much for the super chat, Ronald. <laughs> and then I had another super chat too. Mickey Morris, thank you so much for your super chat. I'm waiting for the next caller. We have 15 minutes left. Lisa Rob asks if she's still able to view the video. Yes, you are. Hi, Tammy. You're on the air with Melody. Hi, how are you? Good. Question for you. Uh huh. I say my, I actually had two crickets because I'm on both. It is my canvas. Um, I'm an artist, and what I'm having problems with is my photography film. When I try to, especially, I hate doing text on crickets because it takes me 30 minutes to correct any type of form in the world. Okay, it's hold on. It's hard to understand you. Just for crickets. Who would you recommend? Okay. Can you repeat the question? It was hard to understand you. I think you were cutting out. Okay. I have a lot of problems when I'm going to click it open and try to get a PNG from my Photoshop. I can't open those programs at the same time. Um, when I'm trying to edit text in Cricut, it takes forever. And I've got very high speed internet. And I'm hard to hardwire. I'm thinking of only things about buying another computer just for the Cricut. Because I need a high performance and the cricket can't keep up with what I'm doing because I'm twice as fast. What would you recommend? Do you have a lot of fonts downloaded on your computer? No. I've only used for some cricket. I mean, I have problems just editing anything and it's like it's running on dialogue speed. I've done everything. I mean, I it just bogs down to reboot my computer and start all over again. Um, so now I'm running my ticket just on one laptop and I'm going to start on another and I'm still on TV of screen because I've got them on a third time in a screen TV and I'm going to have eyesight problems and only I can see it. And I was told um, that pretty much there's a lot of uh, space in the room. I haven't wanted to run it offline yet, but I was told that, uh, you would know something about a, a better... Um, Computer, computer in order to run the cricket. So I want it to run faster than what it's doing. <laughs> my computer down. How old is your computer? 
uh, six months old, and the other one's a juvenile. Okay. And they're 16 days. Um, they don't have a DVD in them because the, I've got two hard drives in there. Um, I run all my images and pixels and everything on my children hard drive so it doesn't take up my memory. And I've got over 500,000 images now. Um, but I just can't. They just told me maybe you would know the answer to that. Um, because I can't get it to one point at all. My sister was just great. Some yeah, and you can see on my computer when I do, I'm I'm streaming live, and I have uh -huh. like 20 tabs open, and I have no problems mm -hmm. in Design Space. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm thinking is there may be programs on your computer that you don't even know are running. Uh huh. Um, is that a, is that it could be your virus your protection. To the cricket program, it'll take good two or three minutes for it to get to work and use it. It could be your virus. Uh, protection or something mm -hmm. and there could be other things on your computer sometimes computers mm -hmm. come with all these extra things you don't even want that are running uh -huh. in the background and anything running okay. in the background is going to really slow down your computer um how would i find out what's running i don't know understand my i mean i understand what you're saying but i wouldn't know how to cut it off yeah um if I'm remembering it's back to my me. Windows days, well, and I think some people can answer in the comments, but I think if you click Control, Alternate, Delete, it'll list the programs that are running. And uh -huh. I'm thinking there's another tab that maybe will show you what's going on in the background. I can't quite remember that. Uh, and I don't have a Windows to try that on. But there is something about that where you can do that. And somebody is saying clear your internet cache or cache. Uh -huh. uh, oh, okay. Oh, somebody says go to task manager and see what is running. Mm -hmm. And I just thought about that. Yeah, there's probably programs running that you don't want to be running. And it's taking up uh -huh. your memory on your computer. But one thing I did find that helped me a lot is I run my cricket off of Edge with Microsoft, and I do my search on Google because it's the same engine, it will really slow it down. Okay. But on the Edge, you can't get as much print space as you do on Google. Because I do a lot of print and cut. Yeah. And I, each browser has their own image, but now I have gotten Google where it actually prints all the way up to an inch on each side. So it's great. That's yeah, yeah. That's I use Chrome too, and it it really helps a lot. I love Chrome. In fact, they are very fascinated with cricket programs, and um, they're making sure their stuff is up and running of us. And she says, "Where did you learn all this?" I said, "Now we learn." <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And Peggy Swain, the answer is yes. We got another caller. Hi, you're on the air with Melody. What's your name? Hi, Melody. This is Michelle Everett out of South Georgia. Hi, Michelle. How can, can I help you? Right? Yep. Okay, great. I am working, I'm currently working on a uh, zoo puzzle for my nephew in design space. Okay. And um, I have, I went, I went ahead and designed a backer piece for it that I could add behind the puzzle with holes in it so he could poke the little pieces out of the puzzle. And when I, I have to contour out the outer square in order to get it to cut properly because I'm cutting it out of chipboard. And when I contour out the outer square on just the, the little spaces that have the finger holes in it, it moves it on the mat. When I go to, go to cut it on the mat, it moves it closer to the edges of the mat and uncenters it from the original square. Yes, it will do that because that original okay. square is gone. So what oh, you're right. So, how do, go ahead. so what you're saying is, um, you have little holes like behind for the puzzle piece so they can poke them out, right? Right. And right. 
Right. You exactly. just want the holes to cut and not the square around the holes that you have, correct? Right. Okay. Yes. So keep the square there. Do not contour it out. Change the okay. square to right. Okay. And don't put a pen in. Okay. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Okay. So it okay. will go around the square and pretend it's writing, but it won't okay. actually do anything if you don't put the right tool in, you know, the, if you don't put right. the pen okay. in. And then it will keep your proportions. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's it then. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I love how you guys all answer the questions. And I, I'm waiting on the next caller. Remember, you can call if you see me during near the end of a question. Go ahead and call. Hi, you're on the air with Melody. What's your name? Hi, Melody. My, I'm Brenda Gunsey. I live on the south side of Chicago, and I am a cricket newbie. Awesome. I bet you have lots of I questions. Have a couple of, <laughs> I have one more. I actually have two questions I need to ask. Okay. First, I have been, as I said, I'm new. I've only had my maker for six weeks. But I've noticed when I put something on design space, when I move it over to the mat to cut, I have to always rearrange it on the mat because I've uh, on the on the I, I guess the picture of the mat. Uh huh. Because um, it always seems to push it out and it actually cuts on the mat and not on any of the vinyl. Is there? I don't know how to explain this, but when I put it on the design space. Um, for a new project and I move it over to the mat to cut it moves it to the I can verify where that's going to be placed before I send it to cut other than just looking at the mat and then selecting all and rearranging it do you understand what I'm saying I'm not sure why you're rearranging it because it's it it it's when I put something on the mat and I send it over to to cut, you know, before it says, you know, you uh -huh. put the mirror on or whatever. So you look at it. Yesterday I cut out some fonts and when I was looking at it under the new project, the regular, my computer screen, it was nowhere near the edge of the vinyl. When I sent it over to the mat uh, to print, it looked fine on the mat, but then all of a sudden it was printing or it was cutting. Half of the fonts were on the vinyl the other half was cutting on the mat but that's not what so is, is it cutting on the top of the mat like yeah on the top or the side it, it just seems to gravitate to wherever it needs to be and i don't know how to control that where are you putting the vinyl on the mat like is it on the whole 12 by 12 area or absolutely i, I no, yeah I, I i absolutely match up the lines for the lines Okay, and then um, what I think is happening, and I could be wrong, but what I think is you need to push in the mat when you load it. Like when you're hitting that button, I do that. put a little pressure in. I do that in. too. Okay, yep, so then if you I, have I, I, vinyl mm -hmm. on the whole 12 by 12 area and it's cutting not in that area, is that what you're saying? Correct. Okay, yeah, then I, there's a problem with your machine. I have something... I, I had something at about a half an inch and a half and an inch from from the, the from the very corner, and it was a, it was a font, and I I 
loaded the machine. I went through selecting the tools I needed, you know, and it said to press to continue, and I did. And I it load. I, I hold my mat as it goes in because I don't want it floppy or loose. I, I make sure that it goes in. It goes in straight. I uh-huh. make sure that the vinyl is on secure. And I was watching it, and I stood up, and I could see the blade itself went right off the vinyl and started to cut the font on the mat itself. But that's not the way. Was it at it the top of the mat? Either. I mean, what part of the mat can it, it cut? It did, uh, you know where the little, like, triangle sign is? Yeah, up there. Up, you know, the little the little triangle yeah. hole? Yeah, um, The very first font I wanted to cut was, oh, you know, uh, just up in that, in, in your left hand top corner. Okay. And that's where the font, that's where the font started. If you are pushing okay. in your mat when you load it, then there's a problem with the machine. Um if it happens all the time, try to restart it and uh, maybe clear the cache in your computer. And yeah. if it happens again, you need to call support. Somebody did just say in the okay. chat it happened to them and Cricket had to recalibrate their machine. And they do that over the phone. Okay. So it's not something you have to like oh. send it into. They okay. may have to set up an appointment for to do that because only certain people at Cricket can do that. Um, but that okay. it sounds like it's a problem with your machine and you're not doing anything wrong. No, I mean, as I said, I, I, I did my first elephant Mandela last week. Uh huh. And I, the first time I cut it and I got some, um, adhesive, um, sparkle, um, holographic cricket, you know, yeah. the regular crickets, but, um, holographic, um, sparkle uh, iron, iron on. on. Yeah. And I put it face down. I did everything I should. And on this elephant Mandela, there's like a little half arch of circles. And I had it down below the half inch grid mark mm-hmm. on my design space screen. I, I looked at it on the design space mat. And when I sent it to the printer, I'll be darned, it went right up and printed all those little circles right off the mat up near that little triangle hole. Yeah, I think there's a problem with your machine. Um, oh. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't I don't know. Everything I've done, I keep moving it down yeah. and over and down and over and down and over to take that into consideration. Okay, try to clear your cache. And cut something okay. out on paper, scrap paper, so you're not ruining your vinyl. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do it on scrap paper. See what happens. Maybe take a video of it because Cricut may okay. ask for a video in an email if you can send them a little short video of it happening. Okay. And they uh-huh. they will fix it. If anything, they'll send you a new oh. machine. Okay, so and please- then I just have one more quick question. Okay. I just became, a, a, not too long ago, I became a, uh, a, I think it's a cuddle bug supporter. Okay, on but Patreon. I have, out, I, have yet, I have yet to figure out how to uh, um, just chat versus a telephone call. I would prefer just to chat. How do I do that? Um, if you're live. How do, I, how do I get into a chat? On YouTube, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you on an iPad or a computer? Well, right now I'm on an iPad. Do I have to go on the laptop and do it? No, you don't. Uh, actually, on the iPad, I noticed when I was watching somebody else's video, the live chat, there's actually a button for it right underneath the video. Now, if you have the video on the whole screen, you can't see it. Turn, your, turn it the other way, and you'll be able yeah, to see all the live, live chat. Yeah, click on that. Well, click on the live chat. Do you see that button? No. Okay. I mean, I have you. I, I have a picture right now. Of course, I have it. I'll, I'll hang on a minute. I have you all muted down uh, here. I'm getting my <laughs> iPad out so I can see if I can show. I see that the two lines see the, cause, the, live the little chat. red circle that says live, and, I, and then I have the... Uh, uh, little gear okay. for it, obviously. I'm going to show you in the video. So this is delayed. So you may not, you may have to wait 30 seconds to okay. actually see what I'm okay. showing. <laughs> That's perfect. That's all I need. Okay. Look at that picture of me. Okay. So 
if you're watching it this way, well, it works that way too. So if you have it full screen, you need to make it not full screen. And there okay, no, is, yeah. there is a button right here. You'll see it in 30 seconds. It says live chat and then click that. And then there's the live chat underneath it. And then at the bottom is where you can chat. Oh, I see your, your Patreons are going through again, so. Yeah. So then you can chat there. Oh. I will have to look into that. I don't see it right away. I know there's delay, but uh, All right. uh, I appreciate the help. I hope you have a wonderful time in, uh, in Utah. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling. And, and thanks I will for your support. let you know one way or the other what happens with yeah, the let, uh, let us know. space issue. Yeah. I will. They will take care of you. Have a Okay, thank you, Melody. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, Ronald. <laughs> I saw that. Ronald sent me a super chat of $5. I just cleared my cash on my computer, and I'm sending it to you, Melody. Thank you, Ronald. That is hilarious. Um, so that's it for today. In 10 minutes, I have a live Hangout chat with Patreon supporters and sponsors. So I have to go to that. So we're not taking any more calls now. I will take them in the next video. Um, I do have about a billion videos on Attach Weld Group and etc. cetera. Um, you, I think this is like the 49th video of live classes. I think it is. Maybe it's the 50th. I don't know. I need to look at that. Um, let me see if there's any quick questions I can answer. I cut mat board. I have a video on cutting mat board uh, with the knife blade. Search my channel for knife blade. Mary Miller, I did grin when I saw Ronald's remark. You did see that was, you're right. I grinned on that. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week. I might see you before next week. I have a lot of things to do this week. This is my last full week before I go on my trip. And there's some videos I need to make that I'm not allowed to share yet. Right between the lines. Uh, so I need to work on some of that stuff and I can't share those videos yet. So I, I don't know about videos next week. I'll try to come on and do maybe some few live videos or something, but I have some videos that I need to do before I go on my trip. So, um, thank you everybody for coming and watching and chatting. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much to the people who answer the questions. You help so much in that. You guys are amazing. I love my subscribers. Thank you. Oh, Monday, I will be doing a live video. Not crafty, but I'm getting an award for having 100,000 subscribers. I get a plaque from YouTube. And I think it's supposed to be last. I looked last week when it was shipping. I'm supposed to get it on Monday. I haven't looked lately but I will open it. If it doesn't come Monday, it'll be Tuesday, I'm sure. So I will be opening that live on the air. So I hope you all can join in on that. All right, guys, thank you so much for calling. If, if you need help in Design Space, you can join my Design Space group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane on Facebook. You can ask any questions you need to ask and you'll get lots of answers. Every time you load Cricut Design Space, it says error. Oh, I, that's a good question for my Cricut Design Space group or to chat with Cricut. I, I mean, the, I have no idea why it says error. Uh, go to the link. 
Maybe you're clicking on something on your desktop that's not hooked up right. Here's the link for Cricut Design Space. Oh, that's the map view. <laughs> Alexa's telling me deals. I didn't ask her for that. Alexa, stop. If you're getting the error with Design Space, try that link. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I got to head out to my other video and get set up for that. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.